impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign, though I was aware of the dangers. I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now, but the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools. And no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. You were a Spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die.
Alright, everybody, hang on! I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? There was no time. I couldn't save you both. The bomb was about to go off. But why me? Why not her? It wasn't your call, Olenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. Get it together, soldier. Ash's blood is on Saren's hands. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mu Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... Exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. I just need some time to recover. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. 
the Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Yes, Commander? Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Elenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. There is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Anything you need, Commander? I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, sir. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. Every one of us is expendable if it accomplishes the mission. Ash, you, even me. I understand. It's just... If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Akuz? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, sir. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. We may be ants to them, but humans have never managed to exterminate ants. It makes you wonder, are ants any more aware than we were of the giants that walk over their heads? We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? 
I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's the last person I'd feel sorry for. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I'll bet you have. 
Anything in particular that stands out? I remember the Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was... The match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation, to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Yeah? Go on. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess. But only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. Well, you can't get them all. No, but... Letting him get away like that. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I suppose I can see both sides. But what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time worrying about it now. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Commander, good to see you.
Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Shepard. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time? If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. Were you afraid of her? What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary? That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what did you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softy. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious. But if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. You're smarter than you look, Rex. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. So long, Rex. 
Shepard. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. We lost a lot of people on Vermeer. I hope it was worth it. Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. My superiors will hear of this. You have made an ally of the Salarian people. Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? I should go. See you later. <laughs>